Howdy, it's Uncle Paul, and today we get to start off with mud and wet rocks. Okay, well, it's a little after 7 o'clock uh, Thursday morning, and uh, I'm just going to keep looking up every now and then for snakes. But... Uh, no, it rained on us in the wee hours of the morning. Pretty heavy rain, but no, no lightning or anything like that. Uh, and it's and it's already the sun's already out, and it's supposed to be no rain the rest of the day. Tomorrow looks good, so hopefully things will dry out before we uh, get out there on the trail or too far, you know, before we get too far down the trail. And uh, yeah, I'm not sore at all. You know, my back's feeling good. It's still early though, and I'm trying to take care of it. And uh, I didn't, I didn't sleep real, real well last night. No comments, Grumpy. But, uh, but I did get some sleep. I'm feeling good. So today we're just going to the next shelter, the Rutherford shelter, and that is uh, 2.6 miles. Uh, but the side trail to get to the shelter is 0.4 according to uh, gut hook so we're looking at a three mile day today and i and it doesn't look like it's going to be m much worse than yesterday yesterday wasn't real bad of course but this looks like it it might be a little bit tougher but uh but hopefully uh, we won't have any problems with uh with the uh, wet rocks or anything but anyway we're looking forward to it we're just taking our time and you know we got we've got all day to do it yesterday after i uploaded my video uh, uh, a number of you were telling me about uh, Chance and how Chance and the crew, you saw them in my video. I had no idea who you were talking about. Come to find out, it's that red-headed girl that was afraid of the snakes. And uh, she's on the trek. I knew that name sounded familiar, but uh, I saw one of her videos pop up right before I left Texas. And I didn't want to start watching somebody new. But I did see a red-headed girl in it, so so missed an opportunity to get a picture with them and uh, visit with them uh, and everything. But hey, they were nice. We talked about different things, and uh, and uh, they were in my video, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and also I wanted to mention that uh, that first hiker that uh, passed us yesterday, Chocoholic. She writes, uh, she has a blog with The Trek, thetrek.co, and her name is Ruth Morley. So if you're interested in, and she's done all kinds of things, biking the, across the country and hiking a lot in Europe, uh, you know, thousands of miles she's done. So, but she's got a, a regular blog on The Trek, so go, go check her out. Okay, well, this is our first view since we've been on the trail. <laughs> so that's really pretty. Okay, that is uh, Blue Blaze Trail into the shelter. It's point four off the Appalachian Trail. And uh, there's uh, the bear box and uh, privy. And there's the shelter, the Rutherford shelter. So counting the point four uh, off the trail, we went a total of at least three, maybe a little more than that. <laughs> and uh, so we were glad to get here. It's only, we got here at 12.30 and uh, and that's pretty early, but the next shelter is five miles away. That really wasn't an option. <laughs> so we'll get that done tomorrow. Okay, well, it is supper time here at the Rutherford Shelter, and uh, Adam is finally going to eat something. Uh, <laughs> he hadn't been eaten. And we have a Ridge Runner uh, with us tonight. Scooby, isn't that right? Yeah. Was it Scooby? Okay. And so he's got a neat little setup here uh, that's uh, going to make people jealous. Uh, it's making me a little bit jealous. So, uh, so what are you making, Scooby? I have got... Bacon, onion, and cheese quesadillas mm. tonight and every night. Um, <laughs> put a little bit of butter so you don't stick to the stick to your frying pan. A little GSI brand uh, frying pan. You can probably find something a little bigger, but it, it gets the job done. 
ketchup. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so you don't have to reuse packets and worry about the micro trash refill. So, so you got a, a packet that you just put ketchup in it. You just, mm -hmm. it's a, okay. You don't buy them like that. Okay. Shelf stable bacon. Okay. Um, yep. I can't remember the, uh, it might have been, it might be Oscar Mayer brand. I'm not sure. Onions that I prepped at home. You can totally bring out an onion on trail. I've done okay. before. Of course, cheese. cheese mixture yeah. of cheddar and some Swiss. If it, as long as it doesn't get too hot, cheese is fine on trail. Right. It's a great source of protein and really dense calories on trail. So why have you decided to to cook, uh, start cooking quesadillas and bring your little frying pan there? Yeah, I kind of got sick of just cooking up ramen and uh, the rice sides all the time. I mean, I like them and you can definitely make them good. Um, yeah, I just kind of got kind of got sick of soup every night and uh, you still get a you still get a hot meal. So what are you having there, Adam? I am having Tuscan beef stew with Italian polenta. Okay, and you're gonna you're gonna eat all of it, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not making any promises. I'm gonna try. Okay, good. Get some calories in. Okay, it's about 7.30 and we've decided to hit the sack. <laughs> so we've got a big day tomorrow, uh, but uh, today went good. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling good, a little bit more sore than yesterday, and, uh, but uh, still feeling uh, really good. And uh, tomorrow it's uh, going to be like five miles and uh, to the next shelter. Not as, it's going to be, Joe called me and said it's a tougher uh, trail tomorrow for us and uh, there's not uh, as many water sources so you know that's going to be a couple miles past uh, beyond what we've been doing the last couple of days so so we're a little apprehensive but uh, but we know we can do it we know we can do it and uh, you now last night we yesterday and and, and last night we had uh, several through hikers come through and a couple were uh, noodles was one and uh, and then uh, uh, Stray Cat, she's the only one that stayed there at that uh, uh, shelter last night. She she had a tent and everything, but we visited with her for a while. So so that was fun. And today, uh, you know, we've run into uh, some as well. Several passed us today uh, on the trail and met some other people. And uh, and of course uh, uh, the uh, Ridge Runners here, and he's a pretty nice guy. So so we've enjoyed today as well. But uh, yeah, tomorrow it's going to be a tough one. And uh, today I didn't have any uh, uh, service here. We're kind of in a hole. So I'm going to go ahead and put up uh, this video and try to post it, upload it tomorrow while we're hiking, once we get up high enough and, uh, and hopefully get that posted. And then, then there'll be another one, I hope, uh, the, tomorrow evening, which we're going to be at a shelter called High Point. And so I'm assuming we'll be high enough to have good signals. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Once again, I've, I have been able to read some of your comments uh, from last night's video. And I really appreciate the encouragement and support as always. Guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow.